Come on. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that make me. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Hello guys, welcome to your favorite TV show. It's the Tikambe Natulande, a place where we talk about health, relationships and sex. I'm your host Agnes Banda. And I'm your host Bizo. We are here in Lusaka at the Youth Hub, a place where young people can come and get information on their sexual and reproductive health. And today on the show we are discussing peer pressure, something which I believe all of us have gone through and this could either be negative or positive. And get interactive on our Facebook page, which is the Tikamena to Lander Facebook page, and just give us your contributions on peer pressure. We would really appreciate that. All right, and also on the show, we'll be discussing sexual and reproductive health mm. and rights. What are they? Let's get to find out. But for now, let's get this party started. Yeah. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Right about now, I am joined by a very important guest. Mr. Martin, who introduced himself? Yeah. Thank Hello, you sir. very much, Agi, for having me. Thank you. Uh, my name is Martin Selokena. I'm Senior Country Program Officer here at SAT Zambia. So, Mr. Martin, let's talk about that. What is peer pressure? Uh, peer pressure is um, that which drives people of uh, a, a, a similar age or an age category mm -hmm. to behave in a particular way because there are certain people within that age category that are behaving in that way. How can peer pressure be both positive and negative at the same time? Yes, uh, all of us have uh, people we call uh, champions or mentors or people that we look up to. Mm -hmm. And if, for instance, the people that we are looking up to have some positive uh, development that we aspire to acquire. Mm. Uh, in that sense, if we lead that, that way, we are getting positive peer pressure. But if the people that we aspire or look up to have mm. uh, some negative elements, that if we follow them, mm -hmm. those elements are going to influence us in a negative direction, that then that will amount to negative peer pressure. Why is peer pressure something that young people seem to be struggling with a lot? Yes, uh, young people are eager for knowledge mm -hmm. and young people, uh, as they grow every day, they, they, they desire to know new, new things. Mm -hmm. And because they have the, this desire for knowledge, oftentimes our society may not be adequately responding to their knowledge gaps and the desire to learn. Mm -hmm. And so they end up learning from their colleagues and in learning from their colleagues there are certain instances when the learning may not be appropriate mm. yeah what kinds of situations are most dangerous for us young people when it comes to peer pressure um for instance from the context of uh, uh of the health perspective mm. uh, peer pressure may lead into for instance a young person getting into drug abuse mm. uh, they may have alcohol abuse and once they get into such kind of practices, these may lead to other things. Yeah. For instance, uh, if they are in drug abuse, mm -hmm. it may predispose them to issues of uh, acquiring STIs, including HIV. Thank you so much, Mr. Martin, for sharing that very important information with us. I hope you guys learned a lot because I have learned. I now know that peer pressure can be both positive and negative. Peer pressure isn't always negative as we may see it to be. So what do you think? Share with us on our Facebook page, Tikamena Tulande, and just give us what you think on what peer pressure is and how young people can handle that. But we had Black Melon to go to the streets of Kamwala and ask, some young people about what they think. Check him out. Hey, hey, my name is Black Melon. I'm in the street of Kamwala just to try to find out on what young people know about peer pressure. Are you facing negative peer pressure? Are you facing positive peer pressure? For this and many more, come with me. Let's go. How are you? Fine, how are you? 
thank you. What is your name? Esther. Esther, I like your natural hair. Thanks. Okay, so Esther, how, what do you, how do you understand peer pressure? Uh, I think pure pressure is when like you're found with people like who are corrupted in some ways that they might lead you into doing bad things like having boyfriends at the tender age. At the end of the day, you might even get pregnant. At the and then the oasis, they will even start laughing at you, something like that. Yeah. Peer pressure is caused by when people, when young people are imitating what other people are doing. Yes, that's what I know about peer pressure. So how can uh, negative peer pressure uh, disturb your life, Mary? Well, um, academically first, uh, you can, um, you can well, like when it comes to focusing on school, it can be very difficult for you because you have that mentality in your mind where you go like, no, I have to do this because my friends are doing it, and then you fail to focus on your academics. So what are some of the examples of uh, negative peer pressure? Um, like if others are smoking, like they, they are your friends, they might force you to like you know, tell you that you should also smoke because you don't want to miss out on that fun that they're having or, or maybe like they're your, your best friends and you want to like fit in so you are forced to do that. Okay. How can you avoid negative peer pressure? Well, uh, one is like you need to avoid bad company. As I said earlier, uh, when you're found with bad people who do drugs and other substance abuse, you can, well, you cannot stay out of it because you'll be affected, you'll be influenced with it. So the best way to avoid that is uh, to avoid being found with such people. Well, um, you can you can just um, you can think you can think positively, and um, you can go for gu guidance in counseling. There's guidance in counseling, yeah, and just thinking positive. Forget about everything, and don't concentrate on what your friends are doing. Just try to focus on yourself, cause you're alone. Okay, as for me, since I'm a school girl, I would rather focus more on my studies. Yeah. And those were interesting views from my fellow young people just trying to educate me more on peer pressure. Tikambe, guys. Tikambe. We are at this place. Thank you so much, Black Melon, for those views we got from the young people in the streets of Kamwala right here in Lusaka. Okay, you're very mm. specific about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and remember, we also want to know what you think about peer pressure. You can get through to us via our Facebook page that is Tikambe Natalande, and we can get interactive that way. Exactly, and right about now, we are joined by a very special guest. Mm -hmm. She's so brilliant, so beautiful, and you know, just special. Thank you. Chapella. <laughs> Welcome, yeah. Chapella. Thank you so much for having me. Thank, Thank you, Mizo. Hi. So, Hi. Chapella is the founder of an organization which deals with young people. So, she will just briefly explain on, that, on what the organization does. All right. Chapella. So, thank you so much for that. Yeah. Well, um, I'm the founder of Zambian Albinism Matters Organization. Mm -hmm. This is an organization that's dealing with persons with albinism. Mm -hmm. As you know, we are in communities, we're found in communities where there are persons with albinism and they're really discriminated in, di in mm -hmm. different ways. And this affects their self-esteem, which uh, leads them to peer pressure. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, so, Tapela will just help us understand her experience in peer pressure. So, Tapela, what's been your experience with peer pressure? All right, sure. So, with me, peer pressure does not exist. Why? Because I've always grown up to be a person with self confidence mm -hmm. and coming from a world, uh, coming from a family where you feel supported and the family supports you in any way. They tell you you're beautiful, they tell you you're short, and that's the way you should be. That's how God created you. Mm -hmm. Yay, and that you did short. affect me. <laughs> the high. High five. And that high. did affect me at all because. As I was going to school, going anywhere, I still knew this is how I was born and there's no way I'm going to change myself. So I didn't uh, find myself in peer pressure because most of the times we find ourselves in peer pressure or anything that's going to pressurize us through um, our appearances. Most of the times we compare ourselves as teens, as youths. Mm -hmm. So that affects us and that turns into peer pressure because you want to fit in, because um, you want to yeah. feel comforted, exactly. because you want to feel like you're a part or criteria of a certain group. Mm -hmm. So you end up finding yourself in peer pressure. To me, the only solution you can beat peer pressure or fight against peer pressure is by you first loving yourself. Mm -hmm. If you know yourself, you're not going to attract any negativity and peer pressure will never exist to you because nobody will come to pressurize you because you know what you have is enough who you are is enough and what you are is okay so 
trust me, stand, be bored, and no peer pressure will be there. So I believe uh, you, you can develop your self-confidence and just do not involve yourself in the wrong groups, in the wrong company, because that might affect you in the end or at the end of the day. Right. That was so, so powerful. That was yeah. so powerful. I mean, yeah. she answered all the questions that I had yeah. on my list. Like, but, you know, I still have some more questions for you. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's take it on the issue of sexual and reproductive health. All right. Who should young people talk to about such kind of issues and how does it help talking about them? All right, so most of the times you find that youths cannot listen to an, an older person. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they tend to feel shy or shun away because mm -hmm. you feel like it's not okay to talk to a big person. Like our, uh, like we've grown in the traditional way mm -hmm. that we've grown as Africans, as uh, African youths. We, we, we are believed to say you need to distance yourself from the older people or elderly person mm -hmm. because w when you, you say something, for example, you talk about sex, it's going to be a taboo to them. Mm -hmm. So the best thing you can do is come to the youth hubs, like this hub you can come to and talk to your fellow young people or you can talk to your mentors. If it's not that, talk to your friends at school. Most of the times we have clubs like Jets Club, we have um, young youths club that you can go there and just share your experiences and ask any questions that you have. As teenagers we have questions as we reach a certain age and a certain uh, point in life. So you can be able to share those with your close friends, with your family members, those you feel comfortable with because with such matters or such issues, mm -hmm. you need to be very comfortable with the person that you're talking to and you need to be open enough for them to be open to you too. Okay. Great. Yeah. So you being a founder of an organization for young people, it means you're a campaigner for young people's rights. Yeah. So why do you think it's so important for young people to know about their sexual and reproductive health rights? Well, it's, it's very much important because most people tend to uh, find themselves in the wrong things, mm -hmm. wrong activity, because they believe in not ask, asking, mm -hmm. but acting. No. So they would rather first act than ask in the uh, end. Yeah. When you've already experienced so you're like, so you think it, I can get HIV if, if After I... After you've done Exactly. It. The, the <laughs> fact that you're asking is making you guilty. Yeah. So you're in this position where you're guilty, so you want to ask. Mm -hmm. after doing it mm. so it's good to us to have the knowledge before you do something and then we can prevent a lot of things from happening from our youth and from us as youths. Does peer pressure only come when somebody is directly involved and telling you to do something or maybe sometimes is it because we as young people are just you know when you see somebody else succeeding you also want to you know be like, be like them place. you want yeah. to be yeah. like them oh why is that person doing that maybe yeah. I can do better. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there's that correlation i think i think the most um important thing that causes peer pressure is you yourself once you tell yourself i can be better you start having competition within people that don't even know the competition that you're That's having right. mm -hmm. yeah. then you end up uh, finding yourself in in peer pressure or pressurizing yourself to do things that you are not capable of doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here's uh, somebody on social media, you see somebody is going to SA representing Zambia and you feel so... Uh, Left out. Exactly, because yeah. you're doing like something behind. out there and you say, why isn't my time coming? Yeah. So that causes pressure within yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to accept your journey and say, this is who I am, this is, everything is going to happen at the right time, you're not going to find yourself in pressure or pressurize yourself or be peered by somebody because you're going to understand that I'm, I'm different and things happen at different time and at different pace and in my own lane. So you're not, you're, you're, not, you're not going to force yourself or involve yourself in different groups for you to feel a certain way or to feel comforted or to feel like you're fitting in. Mm -hmm. Thank you exactly. so much, Tapela. So that was amazing. Much. So, so much. you are still with us. Yeah. We need you for that mm -hmm. game. For that game. All right, sure. Yeah, we hope yeah, we're you are on our team. Later. All right. You are on our team. So <laughs> we, we hope just you hope we win. Uh, I hope. I'm praying. Crossing fingers. Yeah, I hope yeah. so. Yeah. All right, so thank right. you so much, Tapela. Thank, thank you so, you so much, much for having me. Just yeah. because I ran out of questions doesn't mean you don't have questions. So you can just get in touch on our Facebook page and just bring in your questions on peer pressure and I'm sure they'll be answered. What about now? We have Black Melon as he chats with young people right here at the Youth Hub. And let's get to hear what the experiences are on peer pressure. Black. Thank you so much, Bezo and Agnes. Right about now, I'm joined by a very special group of young people where we get to share our experience on peer pressure. To start with, uh, your names and what you do here. Okay, so my name's uh, Mumbi Namwawa and I'm a youth hub facilitator. All right. 
Uh, my name is Ngandwe, Ngandwe Ngandwe, and I'm a facilitator and the chairperson of the Youth Hub at South Zambia. Thank you so much. My name is Betha Chulu, and I'm also a Youth Hub facilitator here at SAT. Oh. My name is Johnny Manuel Kachakwale, I'm a facilitator as well. Powerful young people, I must say, all facilitators. To start with, uh, John, what is your experience when it comes to peer pressure? So for negative peer pressure, yes, uh, it has been bad and the consequences have not really been good. But uh, for the positive one, I think it is the reason why I'm here. All right. All right. Uh, Betha Chul, have you ever faced any negative peer pressure? Well, I have. Okay. I have many times. I think every day, because being at an institution that's uh, the University of Zambia, and then you get to meet a lot of young girls who are, you know, dressed in a certain way. And then you're also enticed without them saying anything to dress in a similar manner just so you could match up to the levels they are at. All right. Ngandwe Ngandwe, our chairperson of today and he's sitting in the middle. Um, when it comes to having sex, have you ever been influenced by your peers to have sex? Um, yes and no. Um, of course, they, I have been in a situation where uh, my peers have um, whispered a lot of information ab about sex, most of it correct, uh, some of it wrong, um, but I have found myself in a situation where the decision still remains up to me. So yes and no, there has been a lot of information that has been whispered in my ears over the years around sex and how, what happens before and after, um, but no with the fact that the decision has always remained with me. All right, thank you so much. And we might know that a lot of young girls are very vulnerable when it comes to issues to do with sex. If you've ever faced any issues to do with peer pressure, Mumbi, uh, your friends are forcing you to have sex, how were you able to resist that pressure? Okay, I think it would, would be more of the same like Nando said, the decision still remains with me because all of us are raised differently and we've got the, the, the different backgrounds that we have have molded us differently. And this is where we, every time you're faced with such, you get to look back and depending on what you want for your life, because there's a way you design it yourself in your own imagination and then you get to make the decision. So for me, it would still be the same with what Nando said. The decision remained with me, and the decision I made depended on my background and what I feel like I would love to have in the future. So uh, maybe do more young girls, or maybe, let me just say, young people are aware of their sexual rights when it comes to decision making and anything to do with that? It can be both-sided. Because there, there are some areas, in the, there are some parts of the country where they have places where they can get access to information. There are some people who are friends with people like this is the same team we have here who are facilitators. It's easy for them to get information from them. There are people who watch the same TV show, the Tikamba show, they get to get information. But when we come to think of those other young people that don't have uh, friends who are like us, they don't have an opportunity to have uh, the, the analog type of TV where they can get to see such and also they don't have youth friendly corners where they can get to get that information. On the other side we can say no, they don't get to make informed decisions. Generally young people in Zambia are very conflicted when it comes to information about their sexuality because um, the, how, the information in the home is a different uh, set of information. The information at church is different. The information from your peers and the internet is very different as well. So I think no young people do not have the information to make the right and informed decisions around their sexuality. All right, thank you so much. Um, Bertha, do young people have the confidence to overcome negative peer pressure? Well, with what has been shown on the ground, I don't think they do have the confidence to overcome negative peer pressure. I'd like to refer us back to what happened in Eastern Province last year by the third quarter. Over 24,000 young people were pregnant. So you could tell that there is a whole lot of uh, negative peer pressure where sexuality is concerned and sexual intercourse also because a lot of young people fell victim to that. So. I feel it takes a lot for a young person to be confident enough in order to resist peer pressure because they need to be able to have foresight and see peer pressure as it comes before it even hits them. So John, what can young people do to resist peer, peer pressure? Well, um, I think one of the most important things that we have to put in mind is uh, peer pressure. I think it's often painted, uh, painted as a big thing which we can all see. And as we grow, we can't even tell that this is peer pressure. 
we can hardly tell. So I think one of the most important thing, uh, Betha, like Betha has said, uh, the, the issues of confidence. And besides that, I think this all starts from home. I think it is very vital as parents or as future parents, we really need to inculcate the ideology of believing in oneself. So if you believe in oneself and you're very assertive, I think that's going to help you. Then besides that, I think it's very good to find people that you can trust. In most situations, it can be your brother, or maybe home, or maybe a religious leader, or you can come at the hub. I guarantee you, you can trust each of these guys <laughs> here. Yeah, All right. yeah. like these are people that we have to look up to and talk to them. I think in most situations, we fall trapped to peer pressure because we refuse to talk about it. When we face it, we want to pretend as if we are the first ones to face it, but peer pressure has always been there. And any type of pressure that you face, there's always someone who has faced it. So I think opening up, finding people to talk to, like that's the best thing, believing in yourself. It's okay to be different. And one thing we have to put in mind is it doesn't mean that when something is being done by everyone, it doesn't mean that it's right. So, uh, anyone, what can young people do to be more confident? about facing negative peer pressure? Okay, being confident is more of a personal issue than it is uh, with everybody else. I always say this, you can never get a society to believe in you if you do not believe in yourself. So young people need to invest time in knowing who they are and what they truly value and also prioritize that before they get information from anyone else. Another addition? Just building on her thoughts, I think it's very important for you to even believe in yourself, you must invest in understanding who you are as a human being. Issues of identity come at play. I think that there's a lot of, um, there's a big identity crisis right now that young people are facing and that's why even peer pressure is on the rise because then if I like how John carries himself and if I don't know who I am, I'm going to want to act like John and whatever John says is going to be the gospel truth to me. So young people need to invest in knowing who they are. And that is going to be done if you spend time with yourself, knowing about your interests and sticking to them. It's important that you invest in your identity as a young person. All right, Mombi, any other thing that young people can be doing? I think it would also be important if young people can begin to go out of their comfort zones, to go an extra mile to seek in information about what's happening in the society because most of these things are in the society not within themselves trust me if i'm alone there's a likely possibility that I'll, i might do everything correct because i know what i want and what i don't want but when you get to go out you get to find different types of types of information you get to find people who can share their experiences based on the decisions they made for specific problems and that can also help them just to be confident because trust me, it's harder for you to want to do something that you haven't heard or seen somebody attempt. Because you're feeling it's new, how do I get into this? You might even end up messing it up even though it's correct. So it's important for them to step up, step out of their comfort zones and begin to seek information. Thank you so much for that information. Unfortunately, I can't reach out to you, John. Uh, thank you for sharing that information about how we can overcome negative peer pressure as a young person. But before I let you go, uh, we'll have to play a very nice game. Are you ready to play? Yeah. Sure, sure. All right, let's go then. And welcome to this game challenge. On my right hand side, I've got Team Sat Zambia Youth Hub. Yeah. Give me some energy, yeah. man. Is that what you got? This is what I And more. All right. And on my left hand side, I've got Team Tikambe. Tikambe. Let's talk. Okay, so the rules of the game are I've got four unknown people, and these people are very, very well known to the world and Zambia, let me just say. I'll get a volunteer from each group, and we'll place one name on the forehead, and your group should give you clues on the name of the people that are on your forehead and you should guess who the name of the person is, it. It is. So let's make, give me some noise, make some noise. You're going down. So can I get the first representative from Team Sat, Mumbi. Youth Up, Zambia, yeah. Mumbi. Yeah, we got you. Welcome once more Mumbi. Thank you. Alright, so are you ready? Sure. Mm -hmm. And you've got one minute, let's go. Um, you did a song with uh, Judy. You had a beef with Slap D. <laughs> All right. The next name is uh, what is this for me? 
Oh. No. First black president of the USA. Barack Obama. Yeah. 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 This team is saying good. Yeah. You're married to Kanye West. Kim Kardashian. Woo! <laughs> This yeah. game is doing good. <laughs> uh, you started XYZ. What? You started XYZ. XYZ. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> and you scored within 40 seconds. Yeah. Can I get another volunteer from Team Tikambe? Capella. Let's see what you got. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's go. All right. So you you've win. got 60 seconds as well. All right, we'll start with this. Oh, my God. To the left, to the left. Beyonce. Woo! All right. <laughs> Okay, right. you are a former WWE superstar and now you are Hollywood. You are yeah. big in size. Big show. No. He started in the mummy. He started in the mummy. Scorpion King. Uh, um, 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 um. I, I know his name, I've forgotten him. Come on, he's big, he's huge, yeah, he's, he's strong, strong. <laughs> he's bold. He's so bold. Let's another one. Oh my god. All right, you're the first female Zambian boxer to ever go S international. Mm -hmm. you no, Larica. you're not the first, you're the second, actually. You fought Larica. Ah, Catherine Peary. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yes. You are five-time Ballon d'Or winner. Football. Greatest footballer. Messi. <clears throat> Christian Ronaldo. Yes. <laughs> you're big. And big, cut. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is it. Oh, you see that? Dwayne Johnson. Uh, <laughs> all right, and that was beautiful. I must mention that Tim Tkambe scored three out of four. Woohoo, they, <laughs> they went down. And Tim Yusuf Zambia scored four out of four. Oh. But, but for us to close it up, Ooh. and let me call Tapela right. and uh, Mumbi to come Our through. Star. And we're going to do it this like it's. Um, what boxing championship, huh? Yeah. So, and the winner is the undefeated, yeah, outstanding, yeah, the vibrant, yeah, youth, young people, yeah. Woo. Hey. Hey. very, hey. very, very, very energetic. Yeah. Yeah. The championship goes to Team Woo. Utah Zambia. Woo. Woo. Thank you, thank we you went, so much, guys, for down. participating in that group. Apparently this is the time that we love to hate exactly. the most. Exactly. So go. sad. We have yeah. to go. We have to go. I mean the show was fun. We had an amazing time. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot to Sat Zambia Youth Hub. Thank you guys. Can I hear some noise? Yeah, yeah. 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 so you energetic. Guys, <laughs> you guys made us lose. I was almost giving him a high five. <laughs> but, no. but you forgot that they made you lose. They made us lose. Unfortunately. Anyways. But not so bad because we have a poem for you guys. We're not ending the show on a very sad note. We have a poem by Morfet. Our very own. Mm -hmm. It's on peer pressure. You should just stay tuned and listen to this poem. My name is Biza. And I'm Agnes. And there's Melo. Mel Black Melon. Yeah, I almost said yeah. Black Melon. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Check your guys out next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Peer pressure, the fear of being left out is what it's all about. Nobody wants to be laughed and be the only one left out. Everybody wants to be accepted, but we forget that we are all affected. No one wants to be rejected, put down and dejected. We need to learn to be our own self and focus on how to best our vision. We are not a robot programmed to follow without thinking. I understand peer pressure comes with a lot of difficulties. It's natural to follow where everyone goes sometimes. Let us not act brainless with empty eyes blinking. It's okay to follow everyone, but at times we need to learn to swim against the tide. Say no when everybody says yes. We need to learn to overcome peer pressure and stand firm deep down our chest because that's what peer pressure is all about.